talking to Ben uh, Digman this afternoon. Ben is the eco-officer with uh, Gaia Resort and Spa right here in American Canyon, California, Northern California. Ben, thanks for uh, taking the time to talk to me today. My pleasure. Yeah, I'd love to hear about the community outreach you're having uh, it for uh, Gaia. I understand it's the uh, first Gold Lead Certified Hotel in the World. And also tell me a little bit about if you, if you sense that uh, when customers come here they need any education in terms of sustainability. Well, um, a lot of guests choose to stay with us because they have a lot of choices um, where to stay in the Napa Valley. Um, the fact that we are an eco-friendly hotel I believe is definitely a draw and a significant amount of our clientele um, finding out about us and choosing to stay with us. So um, there are some guests that are aware that we are eco-friendly property and are uh, very interested in that. Um, some guests don't, aren't necessarily aware of that at all. So part of what my job is is to inform and educate not only our guests but uh, members of the general public and the community about what we're doing here uh, at Gaia. Uh, American Canyon was actually listed as one of the uh, most business friendly cities in the whole nation and uh, the Gaia Hotel is kind of the, um, the name and face that people recognize uh, with uh, American Canyon and our surrounding community. So we do uh, have a lot of community outreach. Uh, we have a wonderful event space that allows us to host a lot of different kinds of events. Um, having to do with uh, American Canyon and uh, Napa Valley in general. Uh, we have um, seminars based on uh, eco, uh, eco leaders in the community. Uh, for instance, the Academy of Sciences in San Francisco, which is, was recently awarded a platinum certification from LEED. Uh, we had a gentleman there who was a developer and an overseer of that project here speaking at the Gaia. So uh, we host chamber mixers for the city. Uh, we are used as a um, place for uh, uh, the city representatives and so forth to meet and discuss uh, aspects of what's going on in the community. So uh, that's what we do. We uh, use Gaia's uh, presence to uh, encourage other eco-friendly uh, businesses to come into our properties so they can find out what Going Green is all about. I've given tours to several other hotels that are initiating their own green mm -hmm. programs. Mm -hmm. So uh, the guy is looked at as kind of the model uh, for how to uh, uh, develop a sustainable property and maintain a sustainable um, operation. Thank you, Ben. Now listen, I, I'm sure that there are a lot of people who come here have been uh, attracted here because of the concept and uh, and uh, staying at an eco-friendly place is very important to them. But how about the customer who comes here, uh, might have been tired coming off of Highway 29, want a place to stay, and then they see these, they see, well, there's something different about this place. Mm -hmm. um, do they ask you questions about it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, people, you know, I have a lot of people that um, are from the local area and have driven by the property uh, many, many times and kind of silently thought to, thought, to, thought to themselves, well, what is that place all about? What is it, you know, what's going on? So I love it when people actually finally decide to drive in and stop and come in the lobby and find out what's what's going on here. And that's how we spread the word about, uh, about uh, what we're doing here at the Gaia. So um, I love when that happens because that initial spark of curiosity kind of gets answered and they find out, wow, I never realized that, that this was going on here. Um, so that when that opportunity uh, presents itself, I always uh, you know, hop on it and people are usually very impressed with what they learn. And um, you know, word spreads, and that's how uh, people uh, choose you know, to stay with us. We have a lot of. We were one of the most, uh, if not the most, reported on hotel uh, last year in the media. Mm -hmm. So we've mm -hmm. had a lot of media attention. We've been in the been featured in New York Times, the LA Times, uh, several web uh, webisodes uh, for various websites have been filmed here. So uh, we are definitely um, spark interest uh, <laughs> whenever people learn about us and what's going on. Um, of course, there are clientele that are just looking for a great place to spend the night and to have a comfortable experience and leave feeling refreshed and not necessarily interested so much that we're a green hotel, but we like to cater to, to any and all uh, guests that come to stay with us, whether they care if they're an eco-friendly hotel or not. And hopefully they can along the way 
And the whole idea of the hotel is to, uh, as Mr. Chang says, to change the world one traveler at a time. Meaning that hopefully there's something about the hotel or the operational hotel that people can take with them when they leave here. And you know, even if it's turning off the lights or the television when you're not in the room, um, or you know, making any kind of the small decisions to that can you know, all together make a big difference in terms of uh, how we consume energy on this planet. Now, Ben, your title, Eco Officer, you're probably in a very exclusive club right now. How many Eco Officers do you think there are? I, I may be, I may have been the first <laughs> Eco Officer for a hotel ever. Uh, so it was, uh, it's obviously a, 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 an honor to um, establish uh, a position that is, um, you know, maybe is a novelty right now, but um, as we see in even the biggest corporations, we have uh, the uh, creation of uh, positions such as Chief Sustainability Officer. So um, it's becoming more and more commonplace now to have somebody um, who is in charge of uh, maintaining um, and eco-friendly practices uh, throughout the, the operations uh, of their uh, particular business. So it's been a great experience for me personally to uh, have been here from the start and to see hotel grow into what it's become today as a internationally known um, destination for uh, ecotourism. Thank you so much, Ken.